This circle represents the grip limit of a tire. When you accelerate, forces act on the tire in this direction. And when you steer, lateral forces apply. If the combination of forces exceeds a point in the circle, the tire will lose traction, or skid in other words. So this is where Quattro comes in. In a two-wheel drive car, all of the acceleration force is shared between just two tires. If we apply a certain amount of lateral force, the grip limit of the tire is exceeded. Now imagine that we're sharing the same amount of acceleration force between four wheels, as we do with Quattro. The acceleration force on each tire is lower, so that means that when we apply the same amount of lateral force as before, we stay within the grip limit of the circle. This means that with Quattro, we can apply more acceleration force or more lateral force before the tire loses grip, compared with a two-wheel drive car. With that principle in mind, watch how the Audi e-tron is floored from a dead stop and figures out how much power to give each wheel in order to make the car go forward and straight. The Quattro system is able to work out precisely what type of road surface you're on based on the feedback the differential, or in this case of the electric car, the computers, are getting from each wheel. It then will distribute power to each wheel giving and taking torque as it sees fit in order to keep the car going completely straight under heavy acceleration.